What's up guys, I'm Kenan Van Dusen and today we're going to learn how to control your TV with an Arduino. The basic gist of this project is we use an infrared receiver to take the code that your TV remote uses to turn your TV on and off, we clone that code and then we transmit that code to your TV using an infrared LED. Now, once you have this, that opens up a whole world of possibilities. You can hook up different types of sensors to have your TV turn on and off when you walk into the room. You can hook up a microphone to just clap your hands and turn your TV on and off. Or you can do many other things. The parts you're going to need for this project are an Arduino, I'm using the Uno, an infrared LED, an infrared receiver, some jumper wires, a 10K resistor, and a push button. You can find most of these parts at your local radio shack, but you can also get them online as well. I'll have links down in the description below where you can find all these. We'll start with the cloning. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to take your power and ground from the Arduino and you want to place those on your power and ground rails on your breadboard. Then, you want to place your infrared receiver on your breadboard and connect pin 1 of the receiver to pin 2 on your Arduino. Then, connect pin 2 on the receiver to ground on your breadboard. And finally, connect pin 3 on the receiver to power on your breadboard. Now that the wiring is done, we can move on to the coding. You want to start by downloading the receiver code linked in the description. Then open that code in your Arduino IDE and plug your Arduino into the computer. Then upload the code to your Arduino and open the serial monitor. Finally, turn off your lights, grab your TV remote and press the power button once. You should see some data appear in your serial monitor. What you want to do is copy that data into a notepad file and save that for later use. Now that you have the data, we can set the board up for transmission. To rewire the breadboard for transmission, you want to unplug all components from your breadboard except for the power and ground pins connecting to your Arduino. Then you want to place your infrared LED on your breadboard and connect the anode or positive side of the LED to pin 13 on the Arduino. Then you want to connect the cathode or ground side of your LED to ground on your breadboard. Finally, you want to take your push button, place that right over the break in your breadboard. Then you want to take one side of the push button and connect that to power on your breadboard. And take the other side and connect that to pin 10. Now on that same side, use your 10K resistor and connect that to ground. Now that your wiring is done, we can upload the code to your Arduino and set it up for transmission. Start by downloading the transmitter code to your computer and plugging your Arduino into the computer. Then, open the notepad file that you got from before containing the data that you received from the remote. Then, get ready to copy that data into your code. Scroll down to where the delay microseconds and pulse IR methods are. Then you want to take the first number of each line of code that you got from your data and paste that into the delay microseconds methods. Then take the second number and place that into your pulse IR methods. Do that for all lines of data that you have and with any remaining lines of code, you can just delete those. If you don't have enough lines of code, you can simply just add more. Save your code, upload it to your Arduino, and get ready to turn on your TV. If you did everything correctly, you should be able to walk over to your TV, press the button on your Arduino, and turn your TV on or off. If you can't, try walking around your TV and placing the LED in different spots of your TV and see if it will turn on. If it still does not turn on, you can try 
re-cloning the code that you got from your TV remote, or you can go over your code and see if you screwed up at any in your code. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in my next video.